Hey guys, Travis at Fred Ideas here. Just gonna show you the new PicoVolt real quick. We've added a, another trigger input, so we have two. You can handle a lot more current, up to seven and a half amps continuous or 15 amps peak. It also runs at a higher frequency, so most motors will run smoother and quieter. And we've added some more operating modes and input modes. So it can be uh, really convenient for escape rooms and also for linear actuators now. So we're in the normal mode right now and as you can see the wheel will control the speed or direction of the motor this could be a linear actuator or any other DC motor up to 24 volts now if you wanted to record some animation hold the button for a couple seconds until it starts blinking red let go recording starts Whatever you record will be memorized. Just tap the button again to stop recording. And then hit the button to play it back. Then you could connect a trigger. It could be a motion sensor or pressure mat or a beam sensor of some kind. And when it gets triggered, it'll play that scene back. You could have the motor in an ambient mode where it's constantly slowly turning if you wanted. And then when it gets triggered, it switches into your triggered animation. You can also record a second input. To do that, you hold the record button for 10 seconds. So you wait for the fast blink to stop you'll get to the slow blink. There you go. Now you can see if you go to the left, you get one blink, which is the first input. If you go to the right, it's two blinks. So we'll stay to the right here. Now anything we do playing a recording will be with the second scene. So I'm going to hold record again. Now we're blinking. And I'll just go quickly back and forth. There. Now you can see if I trigger the Oh, I'll hit play. So we'll watch it. You have to hit play at least once after recording because the trigger inputs are being ignored just in case someone's walking by a motion sensor while you're recording. You don't want it triggering your motor as you're working on the animation. Now I'll hit the second input. As you can see, it triggers that new animation. If I trigger the first input, it triggers the animation we did the first time. 